Hey guys, me and Coco are here and we're going to be responding to some of the very interesting and hilarious comments to our episode. Coco just got this dress, her daddy bought it for her because she's going to be in a puppy beauty pageant this weekend and I think she looks amazing. Do you feel amazing baby? Yeah. And she just is like practicing with this headband because she usually doesn't wear headbands without her hair so it's kind of a new thing for her but yeah, so let's get started. With is that dress is so immodest. Why would anyone want to walk down the aisle of a church showing that much skin? I never understand those brides that say they want to look sexy on their wedding day. I want them to look sweet and demure that day, not like streetwalkers. Or pretty much any dress for that matter. Um, the designers actually let you customize it, and I will be getting embellishments in between the like two pedal parts or whatever you want to call them. They weren't pedals, I don't know why everyone keeps saying that, but in between the two circles, I'm going to get embellishments and I'm also going to get more embellishments on the side so it won't be showing as much skin. And the reason a lot of designers do that is because it's easier to add to the dress than it is to take away. So it kind of just gives you a base to work with. But the thing is, even if I wasn't going to add embellishments, I still think it's really pretty. And if anybody is wearing it who does not add embellishments, I still think it's really pretty because it's your wedding day, so do whatever you want. Love Randy, but that dress is a titty Cinderella dress. This is one of my favorite comments because I go to Disneyland all the time. And every time I see Cinderella, I'm like, that looks like my dress, except for mine is a titty Cinderella dress. And my fiance is like, tell me what your dress looks like. And I'm like, baby, I'm a titty Cinderella. <laughs> Stupid to put your own thoughts as in if. Your dog thought it in your place. Hashtag weird. Coco, do you think that's weird? No, she doesn't. These two must run the reality show circuit. When I saw the previews, I thought the mom looked so familiar. Then I remembered they both were on the show. My cat from Heel. They put Heel. It's supposed to be Hell. She had a cat. Mom was trying to kill Coco. Oh, she had a cat. Mom was thought was trying to kill Coco. This person doesn't have very good grammar. Mom was the one that dressed the dogs and bottle fed them. These two are fakes and ruin the integrity of the show. I love, love, love the show, but having these two on takes it 10 steps back. I need to scream in that case is better. So first of all, I'm just going to start out with saying that was in 2012, so if you remember me from a show from six years ago, either I'm very memorable or um, you watch way too much TV because that's just weird. Second of all, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but My Cat From Hell was very, very, very scripted. It was like the most BS thing I have ever experienced in my entire life. It was horrible. That's a whole other video in itself. But Say Yes to the Dress was actually, for me at least, my experience, it was not scripted. Everything that I did and everything I said was true. It was me saying it. They didn't make me do anything crazy on my cat from hell. They had me, like, lock my cat in a bathroom and, like, do all kinds of crazy. It was horrible. But nothing like that happened with Say Yes to the Dress. I had to sign a waiver saying I hadn't, be on, hadn't been on any TV or reality TV in the last, like, six months or something. So you cannot run a circuit of reality shows. I I don't I, I don't even know. But yeah. Oh, and also my cat didn't try to kill Coco. She tried to kill my dog who was 16 six years ago. So unless Coco's like really old, that wasn't her. But it was a really good compliment because I think it's really cute that they thought that my old dog and Coco look alike. So it's her mom and no self-respecting dog would be caught dead in a dress. And dogs don't belong in businesses unless they're service dogs. So apparently Coco has no self-respect since quote-unquote no self-respecting dog would be wearing a dress. So I don't know. I guess all the other dogs in the world who don't wear dresses have more self-respect than Coco. And also she's a service dog. I have any boobs for it. I actually saw a lot of comments regarding my bosoms or lack thereof. And I just want to publicly apologize for offending anybody because of my lack of bosom. I'm, I'm just really sorry if that hurt you in any way. And by the way, I love the Paley Page dress. It was definitely, it will always be in my heart because 
I looked at that dress. That was the first dress I fell in love with when I got engaged. It was just not the right dress for my wedding, but I definitely loved it. And there's supposed to be no hate towards that dress at all. As much as I hated that damn rat dog, I kind of wish they would have shown the dress the dog wore. If you want to see Coco's dress, be sure to check out Say Us to the Dress behind the seams, and you can go behind the seams and watch Randy make Coco's dress, and his dog Chewy even models it. So definitely check that out.